Chapter 969 Fairy Fang Summon The Phoenix Blood Spear is a peak saint artifact quenched in ancient phoenix blood. It was the most magnificent treasure in saint artifact pavilion and yet someone's managed to take it away. It's been within saint artifact pavilion for 36 years already. In Phoenix Hall, the matter of the Phoenix Blood Spear being taken instantly became the hottest topic. 36 years wasn't anything to a divine lord realm powerhouse, but to the young disciples of the Vermilion Bird Hall and Phoenix Hall, it was a good portion of their life. There were even some disciples that weren't even 30 years old. Moreover, the disciples of the Vermilion Bird and Phoenix Hall were in a constant competition with each other. If a top-grade saint artifact were to fall into the hands of a fellow competitor, that was something they certainly had to be cautious of. What a pity. Us Phoenix Hall disciples can take two saint artifacts at most from saint artifacts pavilion. I only took one saint artifact because I wanted to save my last pick for the Phoenix Blood Spear. I thought that spear would definitely be mine, but now I missed my chance. A spear-wielding disciple regretfully said. If he could obtain the Phoenix Blood Spear, not only would his strength increase, but by absorbing the energy that belonged to a top-grade saint artifact during training as well as perceiving the array formation within, his cultivation would rise. It could even help him break through a bottleneck. Yeah right. How many times have you tried to take the Phoenix Blood Spear? You've used no less than 10,000 Phoenix Cry Seal Marks and yet you've never managed to obtain it. The one who took the Phoenix Blood Spear has a talent and potential that we cannot match up to. I really wonder just who the one who took it was. They're probably one of the top-ranked disciples of Phoenix Hall. Only they have the ability to take the Phoenix Blood Spear. That might be true. Well, we just can't compare. Even in Phoenix Hall, ninth stage life destruction the disciples only accounted for a very small percentage. The other disciples had a lower status. Some disciples tried investigating and finally started questioning Song Bei Feng. But Song Bei Feng was a very slick character. He kept to his excuse of only having guarded Saint Artifact Pavilion and simply not having seen anything. These days, he saw so many people enter and leave. So how could he know just who had taken it? When someone attempted to take a treasure from Saint Artifact Pavilion, they did not need Song Bei Feng to accompany them. The deduction of contribution points and the matter of obtaining the Saint Artifact were all handled by the Artifact Spirit. The reason that Song Bei Feng joined in before was because he was bored with nothing to do. So he helped guide Huang Yugong, a choice he now regretted until his intestines were blue. All top-grade saint artifacts were recorded down by the saint artifact pavilion artifact spirit so that when one was taken, it would be replaced by a new one. If someone wished to investigate just who had taken the top-grade saint artifact, their only recourse was to ask the artifact spirit. However, the juniors simply didn't have the qualifications to meet the artifact spirit. At this time, deep within Phoenix Cry Palace, inside a space distortion, a middle-aged man standing with his back to the door, faced a golden red divine furnace. This divine furnace was the size of a palace and it burnt with a blazing white flame. The temperature was so high that it seemed as if it could burn space itself. The middle-aged man wore a bright yellow robe with the sleeves loose and open. There was an eight trigrams image embroidered on his back. He created seal after seal in his hands, and these seals seemed to have a life of their own as they slowly fluttered toward the divine furnace. This middle-aged man was Sage Jai Uyang, and the divine furnace in front of him was his spirit artifact, the vast world divine furnace. He was using this divine furnace to concoct pills. At this moment, a flame flashed beside him. This was the light of a sound transmitting talisman. As Sage Jai Uyang heard the message, his eyebrows pricked up. One of Fairy Fang's people took the Phoenix Blood Spear and he is also a martial artist from the lower realms, Sage Jai Uyang thought for a moment. Although those low-level disciples wouldn't know who took the Phoenix Blood Spear, it was easy for the high-level figures of Phoenix Cry Palace to look it up. If they can take the Phoenix Blood Spear, in the future they'll certainly become a top 10 ranked disciple of Phoenix Hall. Perhaps they might even have a chance of becoming a Vice Palace Master. Junior Apprentice Sister Yen, you've finally started to show your strength. You want to establish your own influence and build up your forces to become stronger, but only in this way would it be interesting to defeat you? Ha <laughs> ha, Sage Jai Uyang smiled and crumbled the sound transmitting talisman flame. He continued to concoct pills. He didn't know that besides Lin Ming taking the Phoenix Blood Spear, Lin Ming also obtained the source strength of the old palace master. This matter was deliberately concealed by the Saint Artifact Pavilion Artifact Spirit. Just taking the Phoenix Blood Spear wasn't an act worthy of Sage Jai Uyang's attention. Saint Artifact Pavilion had nine top grade Saint Artifacts and one would be taken away every several years. In a 10,000 year period, the number of talented disciples that accumulated was immense. Of these people, many were won over to Sage Jai Uyang's side. He simply didn't care for a single Lin Ming. Of the younger generation, the only ones worthy of him noticing were those that were already famous. For instance, the current chief disciple of Phoenix Hall, White Daung, Dot. Oh, Senior Fairy Fang is summoning me? Lin Ming was cultivating within his residence when he suddenly received Junyin Ru sounds transmitting talisman. Junyin Ru had already informed the matter of Lin Ming taking the Phoenix Blood Spear to Fairy Fang, with no details omitted. This even included the words that Huang Yugong had spoken to Lin Ming. After Fairy Feng knew the entire situation, she immediately issued a summon for Lin Ming. I wonder what Senior Fairy Feng is looking for me for. Lin Ming quickly arrived at Yan Fengxian's residence, Fengxian Palace. This Fengxian Palace covered an area of 10 miles, a gleaming jade palace that expanded to the distant horizons. Fairy Feng lived in an elegant grand hall located in the deepest reaches of the palace. As Lin Ming flew in, he saw Fairy Feng sitting high atop an ornately carved phoenix chair. She was the only one in the entire grand hall. The fire origin energy was extremely rich in this hall, and the temperature was also high. If a mortal were to stand here, 
he would be scorched to death. A massive amount of fire energy gathered around Fairy Fang. This fire energy seemed to have a mind of its own as it formed faint fire birds in the air that flew around her. Fairy Fang did not intentionally form these fire birds, they were a manifested symbol, proof that her comprehension of fire laws reached a peak. This left Lin Ming startled. Every time he saw Fairy Fang, he could feel an increasingly terrifying and formidable side to her. This woman was absolutely unfathomable. Fairy Fang came from a common mortal background and had no foundation, but here in Phoenix Cry Palace, she actually dared to struggle with the Zhao clan sage Jiayu Yang for the throne of Palace Master. This meant that she inevitably had something she could rely on. She hadn't yet established her own considerable force and influence yet. This meant that what she relied on could only be her own abnormally strange and extraordinary strength. Junior greets Senior Fairy Fang. Lin Ming, you've done well. Very well. Fairy Fang's first words were praise. She didn't hold back in her appreciation of Lin Ming. I already expected that you could obtain the Phoenix Blood Spear, but I didn't think you could also obtain the source strength left over by the old palace master. If you perceive this source strength well, it will be greatly beneficial to you. Yes, Junior understands. This time I summon you here because I want to tell you to cultivate well. In another half year, the ancient Phoenix smelting trial will begin again. This is a grand event for all young disciples. The top three of the ancient Phoenix smelting trial will receive plenty of rewards. Ancient Phoenix smelting trial? Lin Ming's thoughts stirred. He didn't think that he would encounter the ancient Phoenix smelting trial after such a short period of time in the Divine Realm. He already participated in the general level smelting trial at Divine Phoenix Island's Divine Phoenix Mystic Realm. Afterwards, he entered Time Worn Phoenix City to participate in the King Level Smelting Trial. And now, the third smelting trial in the Divine Realm was the most essential and important smelting trial of them all. Lin Ming, your talent is high enough to enter Phoenix Hall. Although you haven't reached the ninth stage of life destruction or stepped into the Divine Transformation Realm, there can be an exception made to help you enter Phoenix Hall because you managed to obtain the Phoenix Blood Spear. Phoenix Hall's Hall Master is one of Yu Jiu Yang's people, but if I wish to arrange for you to go, there is nothing he can say or do. I will receive Phoenix Hall token for you. Phoenix Hall? I just entered Phoenix Cry Palace and I can enter Phoenix Hall already? Lin Ming was dazed. He thought he would have to pass some tests in order to enter Phoenix Hall. He didn't think he would be directly arranged into it. He leapt over Vermilion Bird Hall to directly enter Phoenix Hall. Fairy Fang was a vice palace master of Phoenix Cry Palace and she had her own formidable side. Now Jiayu Yang's people could bully Fairy Fang's people, but none of them dared to bully Fairy Fang herself. Otherwise, that was no different from seeking death. This was the right to speak brought about by absolute strength. Fairy Fang said, Phoenix Hall's resources are 100 times superior to those of the Golden Crow Hall. You must cultivate well within Phoenix Hall. When you are about to break through the sixth stage of life destruction, come to me and I will use my Nirvanic Sacred Flame to disintegrate your body, remove the impurities, and reform your spirit body. When you cross life destruction, you cross the first five stages by using the power of thunder to decompose your body. That gave you a tremendous benefit. But your thunder spirit body has reached the limit. If you try to use the power of thunder to temper your body again, you won't be able to advance any further. From this point on, for the next four stages of your life destruction, I will assist you with my Nirvanic Sacred Flame. This will give you a Thunderfire body and allow you to reach an unimaginable boundary. Lin Ming was stunned by Fairy Fang's words, then overjoyed. Entering Phoenix Hall wasn't much at all, but if Fairy Fang could help him decompose his body with her Nirvanic Sacred Flame and cross the sixth stage of life destruction, then the seventh and eighth stages later, the benefits would be incalculable. The Nirvanic Sacred Flame was formed by taking the flame from a phoenix when it underwent Nirvana, then fusing that into one's own fire elemental. It was a divine flame of a far higher grade than a purple lion thunder source. This was the advantage of having the asylum of a top master. A martial artist that duo cultivated in body and energy would have an extremely tough mortal body. It was not easy to break it apart. Before, when Lin Ming tried to cross life destruction, he would have to expend a great deal of effort and strength to do so. But now with Fairy Fang helping him, everything became much simpler, and the effects would also be far superior than if he did it himself. Thank you Senior Fairy Fang. It's just some minor effort on my part. If you follow me, I will not treat you unjustly. Now, let's go. We shall head to Phoenix Hall. There is no need for you to hide the fact that you've obtained a Phoenix Blood Spear. This sort of matter cannot be concealed anyways, it will be found out sooner or later. If this arouses the envy of a genius, they aren't a genius at all. Fairy Feng waved her sleeve and a red light wrapped around Lin Ming. A moment later they arrived at Phoenix Hall. Fairy Feng was a resolute and decisive person, bold in both words and actions. Once she said she would do something, she would immediately do so without delay.